Hi, this is Hazel from Maxed Solution Business Team. I will introduce how to create spatial maps through Maxverse platform. First, press the camera's power button twice in a row to activate the Wi-Fi. Run the camera control application, set the values of general and exposure based on the shielding environment. Click the red button at the bottom to start. Click once more to finish recording. Start shielding in one take per edge. Proceed the shielding at designated points. Continue shielding in one take per node. As before, keep the designated points in mind when shoot. Video data from 7 SD cards are stored in the order of shooting. Move all file folders except NG shots to one folder. Match the video data number and folder name according to the planned sequences for the video recording. After uploading the video, adjust the settings. After creating an images folder under each raw folder, select the save folder to stitch. Open the saved folder to check the result. Create a new place. Fill in each item and click Create button. Check the created place. Create a new spot. Fill in each item, click Create button. Check the created spot. Upload Insta360 images to each spot. Check if the correct image is selected for each spot first, then unload. Check if the files are successfully uploaded. When you click Convert and Generate Raw PLY button, Raw PLY will be automatically processed. When all five tasks are completed, the status will be indicated as complete. Click Download button, then total three files will be downloaded. When using Call Map, you can easily zoom in and out, adjust the size of point 3D and panel image, change the position and center axis by using the mouse and keyboard shortcuts. Zoom out the penal image and check how the map is created. Make sure the position of the frontal penal image and the height of the side penal image are aligned correctly with the video recording routes. Check if all sides of the map, including the front and side, are fully created. After initiating the Spatial Map Authoring tool, select Place, Spot, PLY Alignment button. Select the point to be matched with the actual satellite map in the PLY file, then press Enter. This point needs to be distinguished both on the spatial and satellite maps. Complete selection and save the file. After initiating the Spatial Map Authoring tool, select Place, Spot, POI and Topology Start Now button. Move to the location where topology should be created, then create the topology. Check if this location matches with the location on the web map. After checking the location, move the topology to the correct location. Repeat the move and create process until the topology is fully connected throughout the map. When the topology creation is completed, save the file. Select the place and spot to be uploaded on the Spatial Map CMS web. And click POIs tab to register the POI. 
Fill in the POI information, then click Register button. Check if the POI is registered without any problems. After initiating the Spatial Map Authoring tool, select Place, Spot, POI and Topology Start Now button. Check the Registered POI on the Objects tab and the map. If there is any POI to be deleted, check the POI and click the Delete Selection button. Click OK button to delete. Search for Geocode by Awesome Table and install on the Chrome browser. Check the POI with empty coordinate values, click Save. Open the Excel file to get the latitude and longitude coordinates. Paste the acquired coordinates on the notepad and save them as GPS.txt in the folder where Chord Convert tool is saved. When Chord Convert tool is operated, check and modify the saving path of newly created file. Copy the VPS coordinate values from the VPS.txt file, which is created when Chord Convert tool is run. Then paste them on the Excel file and save. Copy the name of the POI and check the entrance of the POI to locate it properly on the web map. Connect the topology by moving the POI to the proper location. Update the z-value of the POI and check the result. Take a full look at the spatial map, check if the topology is all connected and z-values are completely updated. Then, save the file. Click Process on the Max First CMS, then you can check the progress status of the spatial map creation. When the status of each step and distribution to the server are all completed, spatial maps are registered in products through Max First Manager approval. Finally, you can download the completed spatial maps. With Max First, you can build your own metaverse by creating spatial maps of wherever you want and customize the POI and topology. Hope this video helps you creating the maps. Thank you for watching.